This is the most important video I have ever made because YouTube is dead. This is something that needs to be said on YouTube, and I'm gonna do it. Welcome to By 9 to 5, the interactive game show where you, the viewer at home, gets to participate in this game. This is a very simple game, and the rules are as followed. Two points for a correct answer, negative three points for a wrong answer, and a bonus point if you get it within five seconds. There will be five rounds. Two pictures will be shown on the screen. Your job is to decide which one is children's intent. Rules make sense? Let's play. Number one. Which one is children's intent? Number two. Which one is children's intent? Number three. Which one is children's intent? Number four, which one is children's intent? Mm. Number five, which one is children's intent? If you got more than five points, congratulations, you probably understand COPPA. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, YouTube released new guidelines in a new video about COPPA. Basically what it means is it's going to ask you in every single video if this video is for kids or not. If you're blatantly marking it wrong, you could get in trouble or you could receive a fine. But the reality is it's not going to affect 99% of you. Now, if you do have children in your videos, or if you do make content targeting children, then yes, this will affect you. You won't have comments on your videos. You won't be able to get very many ads on your videos, and it will affect you in other ways as well. But I have been teaching my students since January of 2019 not to do anything revolving around kids, so I hope that most of you paid attention and listened. I have had many students inside my Facebook group very concerned about COPPA and it is unnecessary. What you need to do is differentiate between kids targeted content and content that is made for everyone. There's a big difference between actually targeting children in your videos or simply a video that a kid can watch, but it is not made for a child. So I've already had a ton of students start freaking out being like, oh man, but I make video games. Video games are targeted towards kids. Well, no, not necessarily. If you make a game like Madden NFL football, right? That is not targeted towards a child. It is targeted for everybody in is going to be older men who like football. That is not kids targeted. You are not going to get in trouble for marking a Madden video game as not kids. Now, if you play a video game that's called Elmo Learns His ABCs, there's a good chance that's targeted towards children. If you make videos about Tonka trucks, there's a good chance that's targeted towards children. This channel, for instance, it's kid friendly. I never cuss. Are they going to say that my target is kids? No. There's a big difference between being acceptable for kids or targeting kids. And it's something that takes a little bit of common sense. I mean, YouTube said it themselves. If children are the intended audience, do you make a Madden football video intending that children are going to watch it? No. Do you make an ABC's video intending that children watch it? Yes. It really is that simple. But of course, every year this happens, YouTube comes out with new policies around winter time and people go absolutely nuts because a few big YouTubers make thumbnails and titles like I just did and then talk about how the sky is falling just to get views. Guys, the sky is not falling. This is not going to affect 99% of you. If you have children in your videos, yes. If you're making toy review videos, yes. If you're making cartoons that teach ABCs, yes. Think about it like this. A normal TV show on the Discovery Channel, the intended audience is not kids. Cartoon Network, the intended audience is kids. SpongeBob SquarePants, the intended audience is kids. Family Guy, the intended audience is not kids. You have to remember that this is not made to hurt any of you or your channels. This is made to protect the children and something that YouTube was required to do by law. So as long as you're not blatantly marking these things wrong knowingly, you have nothing to worry about. 
or if you want to make sure that your video is definitely not targeted for kids, just drop a couple F-bombs and there will be no questions. It really is common sense, so I hope that this helps explain to you guys how it is not the end of the world on YouTube. That's it for By 9 to 5. I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.